Hey guys, I'm going to make this segment pretty quick. It's on hospital tanks. Um, this is a tank that is not connected to your main display where you keep sick fish, ick, um, velvet, um, any kind of disease that they have. Um, you want to put them in their own little tank and uh, take care of them that way instead of having to dose your whole entire tank. Um, so this is the way I do it. Um, I have two, well I have one 20 gallon cut in half and I have a 10 gallon cut in half, so five gallons. So up here I got the valves, um, which I can control how much water flow goes into each one. So in my hospital tank, um, I just lower the water, turn the valve completely off, um, put in a filter uh, power head to keep the water moving. Um, and I put a cap on top. See this one doesn't have a cap. This one has a cap, but I put holes in it up top just in case if this one decides that it wants to flow over into here, it can still drain out. But you do not want this to go into the rest of the tank. So I put the power head and right now I got an Emperor Angel in there that seemed to be coming up with some ick or velvet. Um, so I'll show you exactly how I dose this if I can get this set up real quick. Alright, so what I do here is I like to go with Itch X, um, a disease treatment for uh, freshwater or marine aquariums. Uh, it treats, let's see if I can get it up on the screen there. Probably not, but it treats Itch. Uh, velvet, uh, the gold dust disease, uh, saprolaginosis, whatever the hell that is, and trichurinosis or whatever. But this is good stuff. This is what I use. Um, and then also, it says to put for every 10 gallons, put 5 milliliters. So I got a 10 gallon tank here cut in half, so it's five, so I used two milliliters. And then one drop of this here, one drop of copper. So when I do this, I will put five milliliters and also I use one of these. You can get them at um, your LFS or you know pretty much anywhere. Um, just a regular syringe as you can see and I'll do up to two milliliters of this and then one drop of this and then in 24 hours I will take out 50% of the water and I will fill it back up again and that's what's nice about this guys is when I siphon out the water all the way to 50% I just turn this back up and fill it back up with fresh mixed salt water um, from the sump and the refugium that I got set up in the back and I'll show you guys that in a second but I'll fill it back up to this mark like I said I don't want any of this water right here to go in to my grow out tank and my breeding tank and I just don't want that um, neither do you because there's some ick in there um, the copper should kill it and the itch X should knock it off the fish and the copper will kill it. So I'll take you behind here and show you uh, my filtration system. It just runs off. Uh, I did the um, manual overflows. Uh, and they run off into here. Then it goes down and I got a 30 gallon uh, refugium and the lights off to the side here and I use a halogen light 
which works all right. And then in here I got the protein skimmer with the pump and I just use gravity here. So when this fills up, goes down the overflow and into the sump, which so what you would call it, and then it goes back up in. Um, it's been working really well for me. Um, but once again, it's really crucial to have your own um, hospital tank to to uh, support your investment. Um, got a lot of fish upstairs that I don't want to come down with the disease. So if I see any type of uh, any type of white velvet ick or anything on my fish, I throw them in here for a course of four days. Um, you want to change the water every 24 hours and uh, do another dosage of it but yeah so that's your hospital tank if you have any questions leave me a comment